Fortnite squad. And welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're actually going to be doing a frozen money glitch. This is a brand new and super, super easy solo money glitch. Um, fortunately, it is only for PS4. So I'm sorry, Xbox guys, but don't worry. I still have plenty more Xbox glitches to actually post. The next few videos will be Xbox and PS4 uh, compatible. All right. We got some good dupe glitches coming out. All right. So uh, apart from that, big shout out to the founders of this glitch, which are Obese Giraffe and Hugh Shots. And uh, yeah, so like I said, you need a PS4 to do this. We're going to be suspending apps. So you want something like Netflix or Spotify or something to uh, suspend. I'll talk about it a little bit more once we get to that point. But uh, yeah, you really don't need much for this, man. Like you just need a story mode character, basically. And uh, since it's frozen money, obviously, if you're going to be buying something like Deluxos, you need the amount of at least one Deluxo in your bank. All right. So make sure you have whatever amount of money for whatever thing you want to purchase. OK, all right. Your money's frozen, but you need that amount of money first in the bank. All right. That's very important. So what you want to go ahead and do is just head over to story mode. All right. This is really simple. So head over to story mode. Open up your interaction menu and then head into director mode. Okay, so I'm going to get past these alerts right here and it should take us uh, over here to the trailer. Yep, so here we are at the casting trailer. Now I'm just going to go ahead and press up on the D-pad once and hit enter director mode. All right, and we're going to go into DM as Franklin right now. So once we get into this is the part, all right, this is like the main part of the glitch and it's super simple. So open up your interaction menu, go to scene creator. Now, once you go into scene creator, you want to go ahead and actually select scene one. All right, so we're going to be hovering over scene one. Go ahead and select it. Then you should see props and stuff like that. So you're going to see me select it uh, right here. And uh, yeah, so I see props. Now I'm just going to press circle to back out. Now, while hovering over scene one, you want to get ready to press X and, or sorry, you want to get ready to press square and circle at the same time, okay? So square and circle at the same time. Right now, you should get a black screen, just like that. Remember, square and circle. Now, once we come back to the game just like this, you should get this alert. Go ahead and accept it. If you don't get that alert, retry again. At this moment, if you do get a black screen, I didn't. But if you do get a black screen, just go ahead and get a recent that says SRGT Online and decline the alert, and you should be good. All right, and you should be at this point where we're at right now. Now, at this point, you do need a friend, okay? You do need a friend to help you do this glitch, and you want your friend to be in the party with you, all right? This is not a solo glitch. So have your friend in the party with you, and uh, I'm going to show you right now what you want your friend to do. Just have your friend in a public session or, you know, any sort of session like that, and uh, go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. So this is what the friend is doing right now. So you have your friend in the party with you. Your friend started up a Titan of a job and is just sitting right here in the settings. Then you want your friend to go ahead and go to the party, and go over here to play together and you guys should know how to send a party invite uh you know through uh, the ps4 menu but that's pretty much how you do it so just sit here on this settings menu um so that your friend can get frozen money all right so this is the friend's perspective now we're back over to the actual person getting the frozen money so what i'm going to do right now is remember i said how you want to have something to get ready to suspend apps something like netflix or hulu or you know i'm using spotify you can even trim a clip as well so if you guys know how to trim a clip if you find it more comfortable to do that you can go ahead and do that but that's totally up to you okay so what you want to go ahead and do now is like you see there i have spotify ready to go and i'm going to go ahead and just press pause right now okay so I'm going to get the invites from my friend right now in the party. And then once I have those invites, you just want to press pause and you want to actually find your friend on the friends list. Okay. So you need your friend to be online, like, you know, showing online. If your friend's not showing online, this won't work. So I'm going to go to my friends list and I'm going to find my friend. There it is. And I, you see, accept game invite and needs to say accept game invite. Okay. So you want to go ahead and make sure it says accept game invite accept it and then you should get this alert once you have this alert you want to go ahead and accept this and right when it starts bringing you up to the clouds quickly go ahead and suspend your app like i said use any one of these apps or trim a clip now once you get this alert right here it's just going to keep shooting you up in the clouds and just go ahead and accept it you'll see quitting session here for a few seconds but what that should change to is actually joining gta online all right so you're going to see the transition happen here real soon once you see it's saying joining GTA Online, you know you pretty much got it. That's the bulk really of the glitch, all right? As you can see in the top right, we actually still have director mode. We have the tag uh, bringing that into online from the clouds. It's always pretty cool to see. Uh, so yeah, we're bringing director mode into online right now. I'm loading in, just fast forward here for you guys. 
And uh, yeah, once I load in, I should have frozen money. Okay, the way you test that, like always, is I mean, if you got the director mode tag up up at the top right, you know you got frozen money. But as you can see, I'm gonna go purchase ammo. And you see, I just purchased sixty dollars worth of ammo, and nothing got taken out of my, uh, you know, no, nothing got taken out of my bank. So there's proof right there that there is frozen money. With the DM tag in the top right, you really can't go wrong with that. There's probably no need to even check, but it's good to do anyways. So now this is the point where you want to go ahead and buy whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the most expensive thing to sell in this game, which will earn you the most money in the long run, are the Deluxos. That's why we always promote to get these. Okay, so the Deluxos, I'm going to go ahead and I have over 4.7 mil, so I can go ahead and buy these. And I'm just going to fill up a uh, garage, right? All right, I'm going to fill up this Eclipse Penthouse Suite 1 right here. And I'm just going to fill it up with as many deluxes as I can put in there. I really don't need the money, but this is just for video purposes. Obviously, if you're filling up all your garages, it would take you a little bit longer. But you want to make sure that you buy everything that you want to buy. And once you have that ready to go, you want to actually wait. You need to wait for everything to get delivered. Okay, and you, you'll know it gets delivered because you have the, uh, the notifications. It's not like the SP to MP where... Your phone's really screwed up and stuff. This one, it's actually pretty cool. You have the DM online and, you know, the phone works perfectly fine and the alerts as well. So uh, once I get everything delivered, you're going to see right here. All right. This is the point where everything was delivered. I got all the text. You want to just simply press pause, go to the online tab and hit leave GTA online. Okay. So leave GTA online. You'll still have the DM tag pretty much. It should always come back once you get into a session story or online. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to load into story mode right here. You see the DM tag came back. Now, what you want to go ahead and do is if your friend has left that job, have them get back into that job. Okay. You need your friend again for this part. So right now we are in story mode with DM kind of glitched. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and have my friend do the same thing that my friend did before, right? Get into that job and, uh, in the, into the setting screen, you know, just the job lobby and then go to the party and send me an invite just like you saw me do. Uh, earlier in the video okay so those are those invites that i'm getting right now from my friend i'm gonna press pause i'm gonna go to the friends tab they need to be showing online for this part now i'm gonna go over to my friend on the list i don't know why it changes a lot of the time but uh yeah so right here i'm gonna go ahead and press on my friend's name and it should say accept game invite make sure it says that and not join game if it says join game they didn't send you the invite properly have them do it again okay so i'm gonna go ahead and accept this game invite and when i do i should get an alert okay so I'm going to hit accept game invite. Here is the join alert. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And then remember, we're going to quickly suspend app. All right. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and accept this alert. And then right when it starts bringing me up to the clouds, quickly go and suspend your app. All right. So I'm using Spotify nice and quick. It's right next to GTA. I get this alert. Once I get back to GTA, just accept it. You'll have the quitting session right here, just like before for a few seconds. And then it will convert into joining GTA online. Okay. So right here this is at the point you know where you've already bought everything that you wanted to buy and uh you want to unfreeze your money you need to unglitch yourself now to be able to save what you've bought okay so once we eventually load into uh, i actually got stuck a bunch of the clouds i had to suspend like twice but eventually it did load me down so i'm loading down right now and what's going to happen is you should be able to check your money and you should be able to see that it's not frozen anymore all right uh, if you want to go ahead and check, it's up to you. But if you've done everything correctly, it should be you should be fine, really. But uh, you never know. I recommend just check it. Why not? Just uh, just check it just in case. Be safe. So you're going to see me right here. Uh, money is unfrozen. And now I can go ahead and switch around the cars. So this is where I filled up all the deluxos, right? This is a garage where I just filled up with deluxos and all the empty spaces. So what you need to do is make sure each deluxo is moved over, right? Look at that. Somebody glitched into my garage while I was switching around. And you saw that? But yeah, so make sure that you just grab one car and put it into every single slot, all right? That's what I would recommend. And you need to do this to all the deluxos that you purchased, all right? Every single car that you purchased in a garage, you need to switch them around like this. This is a s essential, all right? Essential. So... And now once you've done that, you want to force a game save. The way we do this, easiest way is just open up your interaction menu, go to style, and click on the outfit you're wearing or put on an accessory. You should get that orange save icon at the bottom right, like just like what just happened there. Uh, once you've gotten that and you've forced the game to save, just close app. All right, just close app, and then you can go ahead and relaunch GTA. 
Now, what you need to do is clear cache. Okay, the way we clear cache on PS4 is really simple. Right here, where the sirens come and the and the you know the glass crashes, you want to go ahead and hold R1. Okay, so right now, right when I heard that sound, I started holding R1, and you want to hold R1 until you get to the uh, it's the screen where you have all the little loading circles, right? Where it kind of introduces what the loading circles do. So you're gonna see the loading circles right here. Uh, once we get to this point, here we go. There we go. You can go ahead and let go of R1. All right, you don't need to hold it anymore. Uh, once you get to this, just let go of R1, and in a few seconds, you should get the display calibration screen. So here we go. Display calibration, accept it, and then we will proceed to load into story mode. And for those of you that don't know what a glitch save is, I had a lot of questions about that. This is what a glitch save is. This is what happens when I load uh, through this save when I open up this account. All right, this is from the director mode, you know, outfit glitch. But uh, yeah, as you can see, that teleports me into the building from a weird place. But uh, yeah, once you load into story, though, just press pause and uh, go to the online tab and go into an invite only session. You should get this uh, policies alert. Just go ahead and check mark it and accept it. All right. And once you've done that, you should be able to go back online and check all your garages and see that they are all filled. All right. Everything that you bought is completely saved as long as you did everything perfectly fine. Remember, these deluxos sell for a lot of money, 2.8 million. So you don't need to go crazy with them. All right. Just sell one or two a day at max, like maybe four. You really don't need to sell many. Uh, for those of you that don't know about the daily sell limit, I always have links in the description about it. So that's that'll really help you on understanding how to sell cars and stuff like that. I made a video recently on how to sell cars with an updated version. So just make sure you're careful. You'll see why if you watch this video. This is only for PlayStation 4 users. Okay, so let me give a shout out to Fart Crew and Savage Crew for finding this glitch. Uh, you know, good stuff. All right, this is a pretty cool glitch. It took me a little while to hit it, but with some practice you can get it okay it's not super crazy you know at first it did take me a little bit but you can get this glitch okay just takes practice like anything else so what you need is obviously an online character you need a certain amount of money in the bank for whatever you want to buy and you need a friend at some point to do this okay or to help you out with the glitch all right just to help you get online all right but this is not solo you need a friend at the very end to help you get online so Right now what you're seeing is I actually went online as my online character first and then came back to story mode. So before you begin this glitch, go online, invite only session, whatever you want, then return to story mode. You must do that, alright? You must create a path online first, okay? So now what you see me doing right now is I went online and I'm coming back to story and now as you can see I'm Franklin. So. Once I'm Franklin, or, or any story mode character, you know, for, for that matter, all you got to do is open up your interaction menu and enter into director mode, okay? So you're going to see right here, I'm going to open up my interaction menu, and I'm just going to hit director mode. So once you do that, you should spawn into the DM trailer, all right? Just wanted to go really slow in the beginning here so I can kind of explain everything that you're going to need, all right? So it's, like I said, it's a bit tricky, but the glitch itself is literally like 30 seconds long, okay? I slow it down a lot, but the glitch itself to get glitched out is like 30 seconds, and then you can bring everything else. The setup is just a little while as well, but you guys will get it, trust me, all right? And like I said, only PS4. So now you're going to see me spawning into the DM trailer, okay? So any second now, there we go. I'm at the DM trailer as a story mode character. What you want to do is go ahead and just press up and enter into director mode. All right, so now I'm going into director mode. What you need to do now is actually set up a scene, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is actually open up the interaction menu when I spawn into DM, all right, as Franklin, Michael, Trevor, doesn't matter who you are. So open up the interaction menu, and you want to go ahead and actually go into scene creator, all right? You're going to want to create a scene before you do the rest of, you know, the glitch, okay? So... Right now, pick a scene that's empty. Doesn't matter which one it is. I had stuff in scene one and two, so I'm gonna make a fresh scene just for the video. So I'm gonna go to scene three, which is empty right here. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and select scene three, go to props, and then now you wanna just scroll all the way to the right until you get to the big stunt track props, okay? So you see these stunt extras, the big ones that rise up off the ground? You wanna place 50 of these just all over the map. Space them out a little bit, definitely space them out, you know, a good amount but place all 50 as you can see me doing right here all right once you've done that go ahead and press circle save the scene all right save the scene the scene is now saved but you want to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere if you close app or head online and back offline so back out of all these menus and then once you're at the main menu you want to go ahead and quit director mode okay 
I definitely recommend doing this because you probably will fail a bunch in the beginning, okay? And you want to make sure that this scene saves so you don't have to keep remaking and doing all that props, all those props. So right now I'm just making a game save through the phone in story mode, made a game save. There you go. That scene is saved. Go ahead and go back into director mode now by opening up the interaction menu and just hitting director mode. Now, once we're in director mode at the trailer, you're going to hit enter director mode right here through the menu. Okay, so hope you guys are following me. That's all you got to do to set up and then we are ready to go to hit the glitch. Okay, so now we are back into director mode. Remember, head online first before you come back to do the glitch. Okay, so go ahead and open up the interaction menu. Go to scene creator and or yeah, scene creator and you want to go ahead and go into scene. In my case, scene three, the one that I just made. Okay, you want to spawn in that scene. Now, I have all the scenes or I have all the stuff in the scene. Go to place props, okay? Once you're at place props, what you need to do is just select one of these big tracks, okay? It doesn't matter, just you know, scroll through them and select one. Now, you wanna go ahead and get a recent activity ready. This is why we can't do this on Xbox. So get a recent activity ready, hover over Start GTA Online. So here's slow motion. You're gonna press triangle, double tap the PS button, hit Start GTA Online, decline the alert. Now we're stuck frozen on this screen with no menu. You wanna like fast tap down, and X at the same time. Just spam them. Down X, down X, down X. Just keep spamming them right now until the menu comes back. When the menu comes back, just keep spamming. You're going to get a black screen. Okay? Once you get the black screen, you're going to see it coming up real soon. You want to double tap the PS button again. Start GTA Online. Decline the alert. So you see that? Black screen. Double tap. Start GTA Online. Decline the alert. Spam. Down X, down X. Another black screen. Double tap the PS button. Start GTA Online. Decline the alert. You're going to be falling. And then, boom. Press pause. Okay, once you've pressed pause, what you want to do now is, and you see I'm invisible and falling. That's what you want to see. Head over to the Rockstar Editor. Once you're at the Rockstar Editor, go over to Director Mode and then select X. Right when you get, right after you select X, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, decline the alert. Okay, if you spawn back at the trailer, that will happen at times. What that means is that you actually hit pause too early. Okay, you need to wait a little bit, but if you fail, just go ahead and you can reset back up to do the glitch. Just hit enter director mode again. We're back in our scene. So, I'm setting up right now. I picked a prop that I want to go ahead and teleport to. So, I'm going to be teleporting over to this prop. I'm going to hit triangle, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, decline the alert. Boom. All right. I'm on this part. This is where there's no menu or anything. Right now, you are spamming down an X continuously. Spam down an X. Just keep spamming them. All right. You will eventually get the menu back. Once you get the menu back, you will continue spamming and you will get another black screen. And like always, whenever you get a black screen, you're doing the recent. So we should be getting the menu back right here. Just keep spamming. Black screen. Double tap the PS button. GTA Online. Decline the alert. And then we're back here. Keep spamming. Black screen. Double tap the PS button. Start GTA Online. Decline the alert. We're falling. Boom. Press pause. Okay. You want to hesitate about a second and a half. Press pause, go to Rockstar, uh, Rockstar Editor, hit Director Mode. Once you've hit Director Mode, press X, double tap the PS button right away, start GTA Online, decline the alert. Okay? If done correctly, you will end up frozen on top of your, one of your props. That's how you know you've done it successfully. Okay? So that's how, you make, that's how you get glitched out. That's the hardest part, and that will take you a little bit to get used to. Okay? But that is the hardest part to do. All right? But... Once you've done that, everything is smooth sailing from here. So ask your friend to go into a public session and join a job, okay? Once he's in the pregame lobby of a job, he's going to send you an invite through the party. Shout out to my boy Vladdy for helping me out, all right, making this video. So I'm going to go and press pause, go to the friends tab, and go to my friend's name and hit accept game invite. Once I've done that, you should get session details above the pause menu. Go ahead and accept that alert, and then you should get shot up into the clouds. Once you're shot up into the clouds, I recommend waiting here, maybe 5, 10 seconds, okay? Just sit here, just wait. You will be stuck in the clouds. What you want to do is then go ahead and open up your PlayStation dashboard, and you're going to be suspending app, okay? But just sit there for, you know, 10 seconds, I'd say. Go ahead and open up Spotify or trim a clip, whatever you want to do. And then once you do that, you'll come back to GTA Online. You'll get that alert. Accept it. You should get quitting session at the bottom right. Once you have quitting session, eventually it will turn into joining GTA Online, and then you will start actually joining an online session. Your friend can now back out of that job. Your friend doesn't need to be in the job anymore. He did his part. So you just need your friend to be in a job and then send you an invite. That's it. 
So I'm almost out of breath here, all right? But that's that's how you do the glitch, guys, okay? I showed you a fail, and then I showed you how to actually, you know, hit it perfectly. But that will take you some time. You will not get that in 10, 15 minutes, all right? Maybe some of you will. The majority of you will take a while to get that. But once that happens, you should spawn online, and you should have frozen money and props. The way you check, go to inventory, go to ammo, buy some ammunition. Look at that. Frozen money right there. Nothing's being taken away. Okay, that's how I know I have frozen money right there, and your props are also online. So, at this point, what you can do is open up your phone, press up, and then right, and then you actually will uh, click X, and you will be able to hit the internet. Once you're on the internet, you have frozen money, you can go ahead and buy a bunch of Deluxos, okay? Deluxos are the best-selling vehicle uh, to buy, the best-selling car. So, at 4.7 mil, but look how much money I have. You need at least 4.7 mil or whatever the Deluxo costs in the bank to be able to buy Deluxos. If you only have $1 million, you cannot buy a bunch of Deluxos. You can only buy a bunch of vehicles that only cost at max $1 million. So you see what I mean about the money in the bank? So right now I'm just filling up an entire garage. You saw that I just have a whole garage full of Deluxos and I bought two extra ones, okay? So I just bought a bunch of Deluxos right there just for the video purposes. It's just one garage full, all right? So 10 Deluxos, that's all I bought. Now, what you want to go ahead and do, and I just wanted to show you this, you know, this clip right here. This is me flying back to the city, and as you can see, all my props that I set up in director mode are online. Okay, just like that. So, there's an event going on. This is a pretty crazy session to spawn into with all my props. But, it looks pretty freaking insane seeing all those everywhere, right? The city's lit up. It looks kind of beautiful, actually. <laughs> so... Now at this point, you need to grab a helicopter. Okay, get a helicopter, and you see where I'm marking on the map? Okay, and this is after you buy everything, but this is where the DM trailer is in the sky. So once you're done buying everything that you wanna buy, okay, all the cars and the garages and stuff, you wanna go ahead and grab a helicopter and fly to that location on the map and just fly straight up, okay? Just, hover, just keep flying straight up with a helicopter. Eventually, you'll hit the trailer, and you'll know because the helicopter will disappear just like that, and you'll be falling. Okay, this is how you unfreeze your money. This is how you unglitch yourself. Okay, so now we're just falling and I'm just, you know, you can land, die, do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, all right? Your money is unfrozen, okay, in the session. No need to change sessions to unfreeze your money or anything. So I didn't remember where 331 Supply Street was, so I ended up just actually buying, uh, you know, another garage in its place. If you guys were wondering why it's a different garage, I'm just going to show you real quick that I actually did just buy another garage over it. Okay, so I'm going to buy Murrieta Heights because I know exactly where Murrieta Heights is. So I'm just going to purchase it over, C331 Supply Street. That's where I bought all the Deluxos. Okay, and, you know, Murrieta Heights is literally right around the corner. I know the exact location. It's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Murrieta Heights where I have all my Deluxos parked in there, run in there, and I should have all the Deluxos. Okay, there they are. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to the vehicle management, hit right D-pad, select the first car, pick it up, and just move it along all the cars. So hit X, down, double tap X, down, you know, exactly. Just pick up one car and just move it into each slot, okay? Just right down the line. And that's how you actually get the vehicles to stick, okay? You want to do that for all the cars and all the garages that you bought. So if you filled up all your garages with Deluxos, that's what you want to do. You need to swap all the vehicles just like that. Okay, just take the first car and move it into every single slot. Okay, and you should be fine. Okay, so now once you've done that, you want to go ahead and maybe force a game save. You might have a double menu. Just close the menu and open it back up real quick. You can select an outfit to create a, to force a game save. If you look down at the bottom right, I will get an orange save icon. So check it out here in a second. There's the orange save icon. Uh, you can also buy ammo. All right, buying ammo does force game saves as well. So you can actually just open up the interaction menu, go to inventory, ammo, and you can just buy some ammo, all right? That will also force a game save. So once you've done that, you can just head back to story mode. So hold down on the D-pad, just select one of your story mode characters, and then you want to just accept this alert, and you'll head back to story mode. Once again, you fly to the trailer after you've bought everything you want to buy, because flying to the trailer unfreezes your money, okay? So... Once we're back into story mode, you want to just make sure that everything is good to go. Press pause, go to online, play detail online, invite only session. All right, now you are going back online to make sure that all those vehicles did stick. All right, in our case, it was just a 10 car garage for the video. So I'm headed back online, just fast forwarding through this a little bit for you guys. 
And uh, yeah, we're going to be spawning because I have it on last location. So we'll be spawning right here at the Murita Heights and check it out. All my cars are still indeed there. All right. So it worked. That's all, that's what you got to do, guys. We have a, a super glitch that we're going to get into. It's a glitch that will duplicate your money. It will freeze your money. It's something that we wait for to come to GTA 5 online. And uh, we're going to explain it. Okay, I'm going to explain everything. I'm going to tell you the pluses and the minuses for this glitch. But I really wanted to wish each and every person a happy new year, man. We're two days away from the new year coming toward us. And I also wanted to get your input on a few things before we go ahead and document this glitch. I know a lot of you guys um, get to see a lot of glitches on the internet that are fake. And proof right here is a message from my friend on Twitter. He reached out to me something that I always encourage you guys. And he told me to test a glitch and see if it's going to work or not. And the promise behind the glitch is to duplicate the Arena War vehicles that sell for 1.7 million plus. Now the glitch is, is fake. Okay, and I didn't document it. I figured I'd come and run it by you guys before I do anything on that. I want you to know that doing glitches like that takes a long time. What the user does is make it very complicated to make most of you guys give up on it and yet think to yourself that the glitch is active. So I figured I'd come and let you guys know that this glitch is fake. I can take the time to do it, but I need to have the squad backing me up all the time, man. Because without you guys backing up the channel, it doesn't make sense for me to upset a lot of people. I love cracking down on these people that are always faking and stuff in the community. But at the same time, I don't want to make you guys feel like you're isolated and maybe like, like we're trying to get somebody in trouble. We're not doing something like that. The person who's lying to you is basically out for themselves to get the revenue from YouTube. And that's all they care about. They don't care about nothing else. So it would make sense to speak and, you know, let the truth be out there and people actually flagging their video or experimenting with it if they want to waste time and then see what happens from there. I run it by you. You know what? We're a community, man. We're always a community. That's what made this channel get up here past the 60,000 subscribers. And we're approaching the 70,000 uh, probably in the new year. So let me know what you think. Okay, I'm going to give you a killer explanation now for this duplicate money glitch that we are going to talk about. This glitch is for the single player. You can duplicate all your money. But the good thing about it is you can have this glitch come up in online very soon. And this is why I always tell you guys have the notifications turned on. Have the um, subscription clicked. Because it's a matter of time, a super glitch like this would become active online and next thing you know, you need the alert from here and how to do it and you're set to go. Let's start off in the beginning in the single player mode. Here we go. I want to go ahead in the beginning and show you guys something under Michael DeSanta's account. You can see I'm in the, this would be what, the billion state, okay, so you can see how much money I have right here. Now this is going to get duplicated, okay? And that's what we're working on right here with this glitch. I'm going to show you a failed attempt. This is kind of a tricky glitch, but once you know exactly what you're doing, you're going to know how to do it and you'll be hitting it instantly, okay? If you click the start button in the beginning and go toward settings, your game is set on to auto save. You need to take that off. Okay, that's the first thing that you need to do. The autosave is going to mess you up here. There is another thing on the Xbox One that you guys need to take care of. And that is the system's power up and power down option. If you, are, if you guys are sitting on the green setting, on the, um, the setting that when you turn off the system, it completely logs you out and it completely shuts down the Xbox, you need to take that off. Okay, so go under power and startup. And from there, go under power mode and startup. And here, you need to change that. Do not be on energy save. You need to be on instant on. Okay, from here, you guys are set to go. Now, I'm going to take you on the first attempt that I failed. And from there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you the attempt that works. The first thing that you need to get yourself acquainted with is if you go to the online tab, you're going to see that there's options that are highlighted. The first step for this glitch is for you to get these options dimmed out. So this is what we are going to do right now. Here we go with the first part. 
you need to stay on that pause menu and go ahead with the big Xbox button to turn off the controller and the console at the same time. Once you turn off the console, remember you're in instant on mode. So if we wait a few seconds and then you're gonna go back in. In the background, GTA is still running and you're still sitting on that pause menu. So go back into the GTA 5, not online, single player that is, just by clicking on it. And if you go over to the online tab right now, you're gonna see that the options have dimmed out. And that's exactly the first step. This first step is easy, okay? This is not the fail part. The fail part is when you're trying to go into the director mode. And this is the tricky part. Now, why are we inside the, the son's room? I forgot his name. What the hell is that fat? We're gonna call him Fatso. Why are we inside Fatso's room right now? We're inside Fatso's room because it has a computer. And you need a computer to do this glitch. So go ahead and open up your interaction menu in single player and hover over director mode. Then find somebody who's playing GTA 5 online. Right here, this is the tricky part, boys and girls. What's gonna happen is this. We're gonna say join our friend. Once we say join, we're gonna be spamming the A button. Okay, that's to make us go into director mode. Now we're gonna get double alerts right here. One, I just clicked on it, A super fast. Two, and I'm supposed to click A and then it's supposed to say that. Now, here is the part that's tricky. You're supposed to click down on the D-pad right there before it blacks out and select the trailer mode inside the director mode. A little bit tricky, right? But now I showed you the failed part. This is a fail right here. And for me to get out of this fail state, I had to restart the whole GTA 5 online again. Now, we're gonna go toward the attempt that works and I'm gonna show it to you 100%. I wanted to make sure right here before we start that we see all the options under the online, okay? All of them are bright, you can select them and that's what we wanna take away and that's the first step, okay? We're gonna go towards settings, also make sure that the saving and startup is off, or not the startup, I mean the saving, the autosave is off. And from here, we're gonna click the big Xbox button, we're gonna turn off this game. Wait for a few seconds right here, because when you turn off the Xbox, you get a couple of flashes on the system that the system is still putting itself in sleep mode, and from there you can go ahead and restart the system again. You should end up on the dashboard and from this point you can click on GTA and log back into your single player mode. Now if you are doing this correctly and everything is good, you're gonna find yourself still sitting on the pause menu in the single player. But if you go over to the online tab, you'll see that everything has been dimmed out. You only have two options at the bottom, choose character and play GTA online. Okay, so we're on the right track right here. Now we are gonna hit this right on the head this time. We're gonna get it right. So let's make our way up to Fatso's room. Fatso's sitting up there playing Call of Duty, whatever he is he's playing in GTA 5. And we do need the computer that's sitting beside him right here. Now keep in mind one thing, you can do this with other characters. Just keep yourself beside a computer because you need access to it if you wanna have that frozen money or duplicate your entire amount of money that you have. We're gonna hover over director mode and from here we're gonna pick somebody that's playing GTA 5 online. Now the trick here boys and girls is to be quick but also know exactly what's happening. So we're gonna join him, we're gonna be spamming A, alright? Fly through the alerts, we're gonna spam, join and from here we're gonna be taking the first alert, we're gonna say yes and the second alert if it pops up we're saying yes. Now down on the d-pad and select trailer, boom! Just like that explosion baby you just hit it this time because you know exactly what you're doing now if you get this alert right here all you gotta do is click the b button that's all there's nothing about it now you guys see this here we have a circle that's spinning on the lower right corner of the screen that circle means you hit the glitch okay you've hit it you don't have to see director mode on the top if that happens to you don't get tricked out and think to yourself that maybe you did something wrong. No, you did it right. You are in director mode and now you can go ahead and duplicate all your money. We're gonna access the computer that we all want and we're gonna go toward money and service. From there we're gonna go toward the stock market. Under the stock market go to not my portfolio but the one beside it, markets. And right here pick the highest stock under animal arc. 
make note of how much money I have. I'm in the billion six six zero mark, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and buy as much as we can out of the stock. We're gonna put all our money on it. You're gonna go ahead and click buy. Witness what's gonna happen up there. Your money is gonna get taken down and then it's gonna reset, just like that. Because if you're in this state, you can go ahead and buy anything you want in the game not just the stock market so let's say you have properties and you can buy everything you can go ahead and buy everything let's say you want to step out of the state right now now you want to get your money we're gonna click down on the d-pad and we're gonna select Mike because we're using that character as you can see the map is now got my car visible on it on my house now you can pull up your phone now you can go toward the stock market one more time and get that money that we just put on that stock go toward my portfolio and now you're gonna say sell all as you can see the 1.6 billion is gonna get doubled and now we're gonna be in the 2.1 billion mark just like that now you guys this glitch has the potential to be online it's a matter of somebody finding out how if we can find out a way to put it up you know you're gonna find it right here on your boy your sheriff for you to get out of the state that you're in if you do want to save your game and you know keep that money that you have all you gotta go is go toward the dashboard make sure you're fully on the dashboard log out of your profile and log back in once you go back into the game everything should be back to normal you can put the auto save back on and you can save that money all right you guys i hope you enjoyed the glitch if you did you know what to do the squad has been representing the last money glitch that we did came above the 100 likes and i really appreciate that thank you guys for having my back i'll see you on the next segment happy new year Peace out, everybody.